Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into this video. I just wanted to touch on what had happened recently between Kendrick Lamar, not even between them, but really just the similarities and comparisons between AK's Family Tree video and Kendrick Lamar's most recent video. Um, I wasn't even going to speak on it because I was I was like happy for AK, you know, someone of someone of Kendrick Lamar's stature, arguably one of the if not the greatest thought provoking artists of all time, especially in rap that his most recent release was extremely similar to AK's family tree video. And like I said, I wasn't going to speak on this because I was like, oh, damn, that's super tight for AK. And someone in the comment section was like, AK actually spoke out about this and saying that that Kendrick Lamar stole his video idea. And I'm like, there's no way that he actually said that. So I didn't even respond to that comment. But then I hop on Twitter and see that he actually did tweet. He actually made a TikTok about it. So I just have a couple of thoughts on it. First off, I get any frustration that AK may have toward the situation. Um, me, myself, personally, don't know why I said that. All those three things mean the same thing. If I was in AK's shoes, I would have been mad hyped even though there might not be any credit there saying that like you know his his your video ak was a direct inspiration for for kendrick lamar's video regardless you as ak and your fans and everybody that's seen your video including myself you know that there is direct inspiration there and as an independent smaller artist you know that's like that's like eminem coming out and saying that you know these reaction channels that break down bars and they help people understand eminem didn't call out my channel directly but you can you can come to the c conclusion that he has seen the channel or at least knows about the videos that revolve around him and his music that i've done you know, I'm not going to be mad that he didn't say my name. Um, it's just nice to get that recognition. And that's kind of where you got to be as an independent artist or artist in any any form or capacity. And that's really that's really why this video is being made, because it kind of confused me when I saw AK come out with this video. Um, like I said, I get the frustration, but there's a couple of key points. First one being that the video that AK made is not the first one to use a deep fake. Literally Lil Wayne the day before had a deep fake video and probably one of the most iconic deep fakes. It wasn't really a technology at that time, but shape shifting and face shifting was, uh, I forgot the name of the song, but it's the Michael Jackson one with, uh, with Tyra Banks and they're shifting between all the different people. I think it's no matter if you're black or white. I think that's the video, but the deep fake concept is not something that's new into music videos. It's just something that the technology has progressed to where you and and Kendrick Lamar's video are extremely similar, but the idea has been around for some time. So it's not necessarily it's not necessarily AK's idea for the video. And then I saw people in the comments saying, yeah, but the locked off static shot. That brings me to my next point is that deep fakes are extremely computer intensive you don't want to add any more intensity which is just going to make it exponentially more expensive so most of the time deep fake videos like michael jackson's back in the day like lil wayne's like ak's and like kendrick's they're all static shots because it's just easier to deep fake like that and then thirdly the reason why i thought it was kind of strange to come out and say that he copied or people are saying that he copied is because art imitates art no idea is completely brand new and when it is brand new it's revolutionary in the fact that one, a lot of people are not going to understand at first, but then two, they're going to see the brilliance later on. But at the end of the day, most art is going to imitate and, and have influence of other art, whether it be video, whether it be photography, whether it be like high art, fashion, it's just all cyclical. Everybody is just doing a different rendition of what somebody else has already done. AK did the same thing, even if he wasn't aware that he was doing it. It's not the first deep fake music video ever. And then lastly, and this is the biggest one for me, while the concept might have been the same, while he might have seen because they're under the same label, you know, publisher, yada, 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 while the concept of the video might have been the same and he took direct inspiration or his team took inspiration from the video, at the end of the day, the videos are completely different for being the same concept. One's in black and white, the other one's in color. And you might say that's not a big difference, but and it might not be. But the most important thing about it is that the idea and execution of the concept is completely different. AK's video is paying homage, paying homage, however you say it, to rappers and artists prior who have paved the way for people like AK or people who want to rap today and their style is influenced on Missy Elliott or from Missy Elliott or fr from anybody in that 90s, 2000s era of rap. 
So his video was paying homage where Kendrick Lamar, even though he's still using the deep fake technology, it's not to pay homage. It's to, it's, it's to give you a per perspective shift. He's rapping in the form of these artists. And on top of that, he's rapping about the overall culture of hip hop or, or black culture in America in general. And that has nothing to do with AK's video. So that's why when he had made the video saying that, you know, I had the same exact idea in 2020, it's rubbing a lot of people the wrong way specifically people in you know in hip-hop or people that know their music history because you are not the first person to do it and not only are you not the first person to do it in my eyes the technology is the only thing that's the same the concept and the execution behind the song and what the songs mean and why we're using the technology in each individual video in video they couldn't be more separate so yeah, well, I do think that AK most definitely did do a very similar music video style using the deep fake and did it sooner. Um, while Kendrick Lamar's team might have taken from that and been like, yo, this video idea is dope. How about we do this for, for Kendrick's concept of the song? It, it, they're, they're two completely different videos. That's why it kind of confused me when people were like, oh, he said that he copied him. And then I saw the video. You can kind of hear that not anger or bitterness. It's not like he's just straight out coming and talking shit about Kendrick or his team or, you know, it's just it's just the whole it's just the whole idea that this video was made. And, and he's basically saying, I did it first. This is why you should never tweet. You should never you should never make a TikTok. You should never post a story on Instagram out of straight emotion. Um, because then you end up, he's not in hot water necessarily, but this could have been a, if he just took a step back, this could have been a very big moment for him to be like, instead of making a TikTok saying this dude copied and bit my whole style. I mean, he didn't say it exactly like that, but that, that's the sentiment of the TikTok. If you did it from a more like, I'm hyped, I'm excited. My fan, my fans are like, yo, Kendrick did a very similar video to use yours. There's probably a chance that he saw your video. You know, that would have came over, it would have went over much better with the hip hop community in general, because you're showing respect, you know, and, and you're not, you're not saying, oh, it was my idea first. If Kendrick Lamar made the same exact video concept, but also said, you know what, this was a dope ass song. Let me go ahead and make the same similar song in K, in, in K dot style. Then maybe there's going to be room for like, hey, yo, I know he's really respected and he's a goat, but he stole my whole fucking flow. Word for word, bar for bar type shit. But that's not the case. They just took the technology and used it in a very K dot way. So he still he used the technology and made it his own over here. Um, and if I were if I were AK, I would have been really hyped about that personally. But yeah, that's really all that I got to say on the situation. Let me know if y'all guys like videos like this where I'm giving my opinion on rap news or or music news or cultural news, that kind of thing. Let me know because I, I don't mind and I like sharing my opinions and I think it's a good mix up for the channel. And it's, you know, you get to hear an opinion versus just me breaking down lyrics and things like that. You know, you get to go inside my mind a little further in the way I think about things. So let me know if y'all like this video. Shout out to K Dot for the fire ass video. Shout out to AK also. So for the fire ass video like i that was one of my favorite music videos to the point i saw it one time and it stuck with me and it it stuck with me so much that i said it in the k dot video like yo ak a lot of people might not know him uh had a very similar video it's dope that you know the whole thing so other than that i'll catch y'all guys later peace